So in this video, I am going to explain how to find the radius of curvature in Cartesian form. For that, so let us draw the x-axis. So x-axis and similarly draw the y-axis. So this will be x-axis and y-axis. So you draw a curve and for the curve you draw a tangent. So here this point will be taken as so p of x comma y and you mark this as a and arc length is measured in terms of s and this is the angle psi and i will take the equation of the curve as y is equals to f of x so let us write a uh, explanation of this so right the tangent the tangent to the curve y is equals to f of x at p of x comma y makes an angle makes an angle psi with the x axis. So, and we know that if any line makes an angle with uh, uh, an angle with the x-axis, we'll take the slope of the that line as tan psi. So, therefore, slope of the slope of the tangent is tan psi. And we also know that y is equals to mx plus c is the standard form of this uh, straight line and this m is called the slope. So if you differentiate this with respect to x, then m into x, so it becomes 1 and derivative of uh, c is 0, which means dy by dx is m. What is m? m is the slope. So therefore, I will write this uh, tan psi as dy by dx. dy by dx is another form of representing the slope. So now what I will do, I will differentiate this above equation with respect to s, the arc length. So that is d by ds of tan psi. That is equals to d by dx of so d by ds of uh, dy by dx so we are differentiating tan psi with respect to s so most of us we have observed y square derivative uh, derivative with respect to x what we will do we will write 2y into dy by dx because we are differentiating with respect to x. Similarly, tan psi derivative with respect to s means, so tan derivative will be secant square psi into d psi by ds. That is equals to, here I will write this as d by dx of dy by dx into dx by ds. Now, uh, using the trigonometric identity, secant square psi can be written as 1 plus tan squared psi into ds by d psi by ds that is equals to this becomes d squared y by dx square into this I will write it as 1 by ds by dx. I will write it as dx in the denominator. So, but, so what is tan psi? So, tan psi is dy by dx. 
so which can be written as y1 and also d square y by dx square d square y by dx square is y2 and this d psi by ds d psi by ds is 1 by rho and also ds by dx means it is square root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square so dy by dx means we will write y1 so this is becomes 1 plus y1 square so now let us substitute all these things in this above equation so let us replace this tan psi ds by d psi by ds and this uh, second order derivative and everything so therefore 1 plus tan square psi so 1 plus tan square means it becomes 1 plus y1 square so this d psi by ds is 1 by rho and this is d square y by dx is y2 1 divided by square root of 1 plus y1 square so therefore if you cross multiply it so what we will get 1 plus y1 square and this will be multiplied square root of 1 plus y1 square equals y2 into rho r so y2 into rho equals so 1 plus y1 square into 1 plus y1 square to the power of 1 by 2 now to the power of 1 and to the power of 1 by 2 so it is 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 so therefore this rho equals 1 plus y1 square to the power of 3 by 2 divided by this becomes y2 so this is the expression for radius of curvature in cartesian form so finding radius of curvature in Cartesian form means you have to find out the y1 and y2 and you should substitute in this formula to get the radius, radius of curvature of the required curve. So, thank you.